this lead code challenge is called roots equals sum of children. So it's about a binary tree. We have a root node and we need to check if the value in that root node is the sum of its left child and right child. So here we have four for the left child and six for the right child. So four plus six is 10. In this case, this is correct. It can pass the condition. So we have to return true in this case. Otherwise, we'd return false. So here is one example where we have to return false. The root node is five, but the child nodes are three and one. So if you add up these two values, you get four, and therefore we have to return false because the root node is not the sum of its left child and right child. So now this is the code that we have in the text editor. This is my solution. According to them, the tree consists only of the root nodes as well as the left child and the right child. So we are sure that this is not going to be a null value. Therefore, I'm not adding any if statements to check if this is a valid node or not. Rather, I can run my small computation here. So I have the value for the root here, and I'm checking is that value for the root equal to the value of the left child plus the value of the right child. So if this thing here, this sum is equal to the value of the root node, I can return true. Otherwise, I return false. But notice that this is not an if statement in itself. It's still a conditional statement, but not your classic if else statements. And that is because I'm using here a comparison operator. So this will check for the equality here, or these two values equal. And in itself, this is a condition. So this will evaluate to false if the sum is not equal to the root value. Otherwise, this will evaluate to true. So let's submit this right away and we pass all the test cases. So that's it for this lead code problem. It was called roots equals sum of children. If you like my solution in C++, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.